Hey there! So today's video was inspired by a question from one of my viewers. Basically he was asking about how does my Irion flex plate magnetic PEI print bed that I put on my industry uh, holds up one year later or nearly one year later. Well, let's find out. But first, if you're new to the channel, my name is Laszlo Marcel and this channel deals with home automation, home networking and occasionally with related stuff like uh, DIY electronics, 3D printing and the like. Anyway, let's see that flex plate. So this is the flex plate in question. It has been installed on my industry like 11 months ago and I've been using it uh, since then. So a few things have changed with the flex plates since its installation. First of all, its texture. So it used to be a shiny one, a super shiny, super flat surface, almost like a mirror. Nowadays, this flex plate comes with two, comes in two flavors. One is textured, one is uh, the shiny one, the clear one. And of course, I had the clear one. So what happened with it? Well, at some point, it stopped uh, sticking, and uh, I was like totally clueless. What should I do with it? So I started scouring Reddit, Google, whatnot and then run into this idea of sending it with a super fine sanding paper to have a better sticking surface. And while sanding, in, uh, sanding the PEI surface, the PEI coating in general could help you, it turned out that you cannot sand it so perfectly that it won't leave a unique scratchy texture on it texture on it i mean yeah i expected that but i expected it to be more homogeneous and not like actual scratches and too bad this is too bad because now i whatever i have i'm printing on this it will leave the same texture on the printed object so let me show you this is the raspberry pi case i've printed a few months ago and by the light you can clearly see the same texture and uh, at some point even the same scratches yeah so lesson learned if you have the textured one be happy with it if you have the or if you get the clear one don't sand it the PEI coating is too thin so you cannot send it for hours or something like that to have a super homogeneous sanded surface but instead you will just uh, end up with an uneven surface and by uneven i mean a fraction of a fraction of a millimeter in thickness so it won't affect your layer height or whatever but it will leave a texture also about these scratches if you're an industry owner or yeah not really not really specific to industry but most of the 3d printer owners know this too now the one that comes with industry is really really sharp and while this doesn't really leave a mark on the original print bed of the industry it definitely leaves deep scratches on this so once you switch to this type of surface forget this tool or i don't know do something with it and make sure that it won't leave those scratches because those deep scratches are again visible on your prints okay also regarding the whole magnetic thing it's still going strong i have no problem with that So it's still fine what else this surface or the PEI surfaces in general need maintenance you have probably heard about it but uh, if not then here's the thing PEI surface the PEI coating will slowly wear off as you as you print stuff so you have to regenerate it and for regenerating it from time to time you have to carefully wash the surface with isopropyl alcohol now um, not just 
uh, any isopropyl alcohol, but uh, with an isopropyl alcohol uh, above, I think, 80%. So, assuming you have that, you can you can buy it in like. It depends, really depends on the country you live in. Here you can buy it in hardware stores and, and pharmacies maybe. I bought it from a hardware store. I ordered it online actually. So from time to time, like two times um, each month, I just uh, pour a small amount on it and uh, carefully wash it off. Then uh, clean it with a dry towel, a paper towel. And yeah, that's it. That's, uh, that keeps uh, this uh, PEI surface in a good condition. Of course, and I, I cannot prove it regenerating because we are still um, uh, talking about microscopic amounts of, amounts of uh, material wearing off from the PEI surface. And I don't really have the illusion that it will last forever. But for now, it's doing a job. So. I'm happy with it. So that's it. As you could see, time has left its mark on that uh, build surface, but still I consider it to the best thing that happened to my industry, the best upgrade I've uh, invested in so far, and uh, I never regretted it. So there's that. Also, the scratches and stuff, well, I consider it part of the learning curve. I mean, it was the first uh, PEI coated surface I used on my printer and uh, yeah, I'm not a 3D printing professional but I use my 3D printer a lot and I also thought that okay, let's share the whole story with you guys because uh, for the average maker like me who wants just to use the 3D printer as a tool yeah, these are important information at least I think so anyway, time to close the video Hope you liked it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel a lot. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing for more. And yeah, stay safe out there and hope to see you next week with a new video. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, hit like. If you want to help my channel and see more of my content, hit subscribe. If you want to check out behind the scenes and want to know more about me, then follow me on social media. You can find the links here. Thank you again and see you next time.